All right, and I'm against my friend. We actually train together, so this is gonna be a kind of hard matchup. I think he knows kind of my decks, and I kind of know his decks. I'm thinking he runs a control warrior. He's running warrior druid and uh, shaman, of course. If he runs control shaman, that's gonna be really bad. But I don't think he actually got. There's no way that you could line up with two con. I don't know. I don't think he lined up like that. And then druid probably yager token druid uh that being said with yager token we can definitely deal with it the best with mid-range shaman so i'm gonna start with mid-range shaman i would but i'm pretty sure he's anticipating that and he's gonna go with something like yog which means i'm going with dragon warrior first uh-oh right there <laughs> All right. So yeah, I guess correctly. And uh, that's a perfect, perfect, uh, almost perfect uh, mulligan. I'm just gonna mulligan quick because I need to. He's gonna start with coin, of course. All right. And the two just—I don't think it's control druid. I think it's your uh, token druid. All right. He's not gonna play anything. We're gonna go straight into uh, Alex Strahd's champion. This time this guy, uh, this time he didn't draw here. I think that was the first mistake. I got so much damage in at the end there just because uh, he drew instead of playing. You could always innervate Harrison, but I'm not sure if they actually run that. Looking Druids. I don't know if they have room for that. Coin. Having the coins actually really nice for Druid, simply because they can ramp up and all that. And you see how we have a dragon here. Do we want to play it without value? Is a question. What now? Pretty sure the answer is no because we have execute. Um only problem could be like living roots and then we have this so i think we just take out the mire creeper and end our turn pay attention class like i said violet teacher there's a raven idol i'm ready to learn I was created by Ray. That's actually really big for him. Because now he can't efficiently take out his Violet Teachers and his Apprentices, which is kind of bad for us. He could always take out the Violet Teacher, just not as valuable. Going to execute is the question. I could always execute it, and then we don't have this problem. If I execute, though, I still have to Icker, and I have to Ravaging Goal. I could Ravaging Goal, execute, and take out that, and he has a 2-2. Two -two. And since he's Violet Teacher, since he's, what's it called? Token Druid. Yeah, I think that's the best one. So I attack. This
we go. We have something to play. Our Twilight Guardian. Tharsin. Alright. I was expecting a Fangel or a Tharsin. So, luckily, I do have my Slam. Uh, I'm gonna use this one. See what I draw. I don't get too bad of a draw. I could get punished if I use um if I if I clear the board with a fork on leads. So I think I'm just gonna take out Tharsin and then go face anyways because I get punished by swipe regardless of trading or not. So that's fine. And we can set up for there's a second swipe. God, there's a... Okay, we can set up for Ragnaros, which is fine. Kind of unfortunate he had that second swipe. But we can always play Ragnaros. I think he still has a card from turn one, which is scary, and I'm thinking that's Yogg. So we can expect a Yogg here soon, so I don't want to commit too hard. No, that's Mulch. Okay. Seven, eight. That's for us. That's poor damage. Hmm. Possibly I could get an Alex Shaw's as champion. Nope. Still gonna deal three damage. Question is, do I want to execute this? Yes, the Yogs are on, so it's not worth it. Draw. Wow. I might actually execute here then. Execute and grow a mash. Oh. Or I could push for lethal. I'm gonna push for lethal. He's used both swipes. He's used a living roots. He's used a wrath. So, he has to trade the board. He has to trade into the board to kill my Gromash. Doesn't look like he has Yogg, or he would have played it, right? Oh, no. He played it there. Uh, there's the Is that lethal? No, he attacked me. That's a pretty evil. Uh, that's bad. That's bad. As long as the as long as the Gromash doesn't die, we're good. That's game. Well played. Well played. That's the first game we've won unless what is this? Like I said, you either force the Yogg or push for lethal. Uh, either Yogg or free to burn for lethal. And he could, uh, be Yogg. Alright. So, with the decks I have left, he has probably a control warrior and a shaman that could be either mid range or control. And in that case. Uh, our mid-range shaman is going to be the best here. I wouldn't expect him to use a token druid again. If he does, uh, our mid-range druid still counters the token druid. I mean, yeah. Alright, so it still counters it a bit. It's just harder because um, a swipe is more effective against us when we're mid-range shaman. And... Here, don't want to play. I'm just gonna play like this. 
I should have mulliganed last, that was my problem, but fine. Alright, he already kept everything. We kept everything, which is scary. Um, I'd probably still gonna trog turn one. What I was saying was, swipe is more effective against our class here. Alright, so we have a 50-50 shot to get something we want. Sorry, I'm trying to manually track because I have a pen and paper that's allowed always. Um, or, yeah, and the people said that was allowed too. And that's usually a allowed in tournaments. But it's kind of hard because he's using like all these put back in your deck and all that stuff. And also it's nighttime, as you guys can tell. And it's kind of hard to see. Serves me. Like I totally missed that turn, that was my fault. Pretty coin there, and I'm guessing he played. It doesn't tell you if it was. It's golden though, so I'd assume that it was just something he held. Hmm. This is actually very big. Faceless is big, because next turn, we can play into Toskar Totemi. He has to mulch or, mulch it or swipe and wrath, and that requires an innervate. We could throw out... Actually, we could throw out... We could clear his board entirely and push for more damage. Um, clear his board. And... I think I want to do that instead. We have a possibility of throwing bloodlust in that situ situation. Oh, it's going to be very nice for us. It's anti-violet teacher kind of, um, and he can't. He has to have two innervates to swipe our board. There's a second raven idol. Yeah, I've kind of lost track almost. I'm just kind of trying to keep up, but I can't tell what he's exactly he's held and what he has. And I just know that nothing he's held is too recent. We have a very big card here. I'm gonna, of course, faceless. And then... Uh, start to clear the board here. And I think that's game might be game unless he can see i mean unless he uh, has a starfall that's not too bad kill seven damage to the face is not good but that's a raven idol gone um we want cards At this point, we can technically do anything we want. It's not turn 8 yet, but if he doesn't deal with the faceless, we have our game here, and that's really close to game. game. These games are much easier. I don't know why. Sadly, they are. Um, the grand scheme of things, having a bigger board, you can't not deal with it. Uh, 
Harrison Jones. Very useless in this matchup. Uh, and there's Yogg-Saron, maybe? Yogg-Saron definitely turns things around here. Uh, it's all about if he clears my board and not his. That's big. That's not too good. I actually have Hex. And a Doom Hammer. So that's not too bad. That's GG. I don't know if he runs Feral Rage, probably not. That's GG. I can see. Second game. It's 2 0 right now, but you never know. Mid range hunter. Although kind of teched good for this tournament. I would say it's actually teched pretty good. But. Hold on, I'm lagging. Okay. Uh, I'll be right back. I would say it's teched pretty good, but. Um, the techs just haven't shown up. I teched in like a Doomsayer, and I have one of each 5-drop of the main series, uh, what's it called, mid-range hunters? Mid-range hunter cards, I guess. It's not really a hunter card. This is the one matchup I'm scared of, because it could be a control matchup. Luckily, our hand is actually very nice right now. Um, I think we still mulligan away the infested wolf, and because this could be control, uh, if it's mid range, uh, we kind of messed up, but if it's not, we still have a nice Greetings, traveler. One more. He's starting first. Might be a 3 0 sweep if this is the deck I'm thinking. The end is coming. That, that, there it is. That stutter, though. So, we don't have a way to deal with that. So, this is definitely the control deck that I was thinking of. We're just gonna go face. This deck is all about pushing for early damage and not letting him get a big taunt with uh, Ancestral Spirit. Because. In this matchup, Ancestral Spirit is just so big for this guy. Tougher. I forgot we had the coin. So it doesn't work like that. Alright. Don't necessarily like play around it, anything. Because everything he has is that's actually very nice I think back-to-back -back high mains is very good for us um, more so we don't need doomsayer in this matchup Houndmaster is good but at the end of the day it's not a big enough threat for us to keep on pushing we're gonna want to uh, take away this he's gonna do damage to us or hurt us at least he has hollow zeal and elemental destruction as I was saying and five to Four to five damage, six damage. It's just a, a too much to play around. We have our first high main. The hex. Alright. Unfortunate happens. I think this yeah, we want some more. We definitely want some more. Deadly shot's nice. Alright, 
that's information. Um, we have. There's just too many taunts, and there's a lot of taunts. There's, um, two things from below. There's two uh, fire elementals, or not fire elementals. The elemental that's a seven eight has taunt with huge overload. Um, there's Sylvanas. There's a lot of board here. All of you for healing, healing waves and lava shock for overlords. Okay. Close to all the wild. I'm gonna play this. And we'll end our turn. All of the wild's pretty beneficial to us if we can clear that searing totem, which we definitely do can do fog creepers so i think that's attack now we can't clear it out well we can but it's going to be harder and then he can always elemental destruction six damage right now is not too bad That's what I mean. I hunt alone. Effectively, this quick shot is like pushing for, pushing for burst damage. So we're gonna use it. And do we want to equip another weapon? Is the question. Do we just want to do damage? Obviously, going face. Um, calculating this in my head, that's seven, and then that's. A uh, five burst. So next turn, even if we, I think it's more valuable to Eagle Horn Bow, especially if he puts up something big. Um, I'd rather him Harrison than throw up a taunt if he does have it. Next turn's lethal. We can get a uh, land a hit on him. There's the elemental and there's the first spirit. That sucks for us. Um, we're not gonna be able to dodge that one. Yet, are we? we could deadly shot. Try to get lucky. All the wilds just gonna get elemental destruction. That's the main problem here. I'm actually going to keep the other. There's a, another one, so he still has a lot of stuff in that way. Take some more damage. Hurts. I think we go for the deadly shot. Elemental destruction, he still lives. Hit it, but it's fine. There's the lightning storm. That people. There's a heal. No elemental destruction either. That's really bad for us. Of course, Hunter is really hard to fight this control matchup. Hmm. Can't go for damage. And that feels bad. I think we lost simply because, uh oh, and we misplayed. So, yeah. Elemental destruction we lose. He does have it. Take oh, he doesn't have it. The Earth Mother is near. All right, we still have a chance. We still have a chance. I can't say it's a good chance. I can say we still have a chance. This doesn't have burst. There's no way this has burst. Oh no. Oh, faces. Okay. There's your burst. <laughs> Alright, so that's fine. I wasn't gonna win against the. Uh, But his other two decks, we definitely should win against. 
There we go. For some reason we have like this weird lag. Now if this is Dragon Hunter, or not Dragon Hunter. If this is Dragon Warrior, um, we're good. If it's Control Warrior, we're gonna have a dead card in our hand for a while because I want to save the Aesthetic Swampoos in this matchup for uh, Gore How. Gore How's really big. So it's uh, Dragon Warrior. Alright, that's fine. We're usually favored against Dragon Warrior. Um, I go for... Definitely go for the value play here, which is not the Toad. have that getting too big, I'm not going to take a risk. The 50-50, but it's a bad risk. There's the axe. There's the armor, I think. So, I think we're good. We can, next turn, we can Acidic Swamp Boost and Eagle Horn set up for the high main. The cards that he might play are stuff like he could um he could play something like Dragon Corruptor, but that that'll be bad, but it won't be Sadly we don't have four mana. If we had four mana this would be the best, but we don't. As for tech I don't know, no. I think we're just gonna keep it up. There we go. That's the six mana high main. We're definitely going to want to keep that. Because he can't deal with the death rattle. Or he can deal with it once, not twice. And um, straight from hand, that's hard to do. Oh, he got Okay. Now we have it options here. We can either uh, trade here. Or we could push for lethal. If we trade, we could trade our hand here, and then he has enough damage to throw out a really big threat. Something I don't want. I think we should just push for lethal instead. Which is, of course... I'm putting out another high main on attacking place. Because next turn we have 12 damage. Next turn we have lethal if he doesn't throw up a taunt. Or trade. He already uses coin, so he can't pull out some Gromash combo. So he has to trade. Slam. Wow, that's actually very big. Um, that's obviously the play. I think that's it, that's game. So, GG, uh, going to the finals now. It's a best of seven, which is, um, it's gonna be pretty long, so I'm probably gonna do it like round two where I split it into two parts.